Hey, what's up guys? My name is Isaac aka Classic Sham, the protagonist of this channel and today I want to tell you some certain ways on how to deal with people. Speaking of Dale, this action is mostly used by those at the top, I mean someone who's above others. Deal is a particular form of treatment given or received. There's always two parties involved. You gotta be the giver or the receiver. So most of the time the giver are those at the top and the receiver of those treatment are those below. So like a teacher to a student, it is easy for the teacher to deal with the student. And it's also easy for the principal to deal with the teacher. And it's also easy for the government to deal with the principal. You know what I mean? So it's, it's just like, you know, those at the top also get to deal with those below. When the teacher deal with the student, the teacher is the giver and the student is the receiver. So for me, let's say I'm the teacher, I dealt with her. And she as the student, the teacher dealt with me. Something like that. So today I'm going to tell you some certain ways on how to deal and find your way around people. Number one. Number one, be calm. Someone who is calm is seen as being in control and responsible. If you know like the teacher is arch, don't be a stubborn student. Just be cool in the class. So when you are cool and calm, it's going to be so easy for people to treat you nicely. If you are in the class and you notice your teacher is around or your manager or your boss or your parent, your parent, maybe they are around, and you want to like find your way around them I think the best thing for you the number one thing for you to do is to be calm because when you are be calm people say like okay I think he or she is calm he doesn't want trouble she doesn't want trouble someone who is calm is seen as being in control and responsible be calm don't always be on edge number two understand the person's intentions some people appear cruel and hunger there's always some underlying reasons for them doing that. People don't just get mad for no reason. People don't just treat you badly for no reason. Because once you get to know their intentions, it's for you to like, you know, try to cooperate with them. Some people, they might be cruel and harsh to you because of some certain things they think you should be doing and you are not doing it. So it's best for you, if you know someone you need to get along with, I think it's best for you to like, you know, get to know their intentions understand the person triggers and try to cooperate with them then when you cooperate with them it's going to be so easy for you to find your way around them because you know their intention it is very very important to know people's intention we can't be friends if i don't know your intentions our friendship can't last you have to know their intentions you have to know what their trigger is and cooperate with them the number three things you need to do to find your way around people get to know them Go out with them for lunches and dinners. Learn more about their hobbies, their families, and their lives. But maybe if he or she is a teacher, if you are in school, you might not be able to like you know communicate that much. But maybe on your break time, or maybe as an employee on your break time, you can just go to the person. If he or she is your boss or your teacher or your parent, go to lunch with them. If you want like get to actually know them, try to like learn few things about them, about their hobbies, about their life, about their, their family, you know, get to know more about them. From there, you know, by both of you communicating together, it's quite easy for you guys to like, you know, become friends, you know what I mean? So like, it's just me, like me with my friends and you know, I, I want to like get to know this person, it's so easy for me to like, uh, can I, please, can I take you for dinner? Can I take you for lunch? You know, from that lunch, we can, you know, communicate. From one world leads to another, we get to know each other and then um, boom, we become friends. Everything becomes cool. So I think getting to know people is another way to find your way around them. Get to know them. Number four, treat the person with respect. No one likes to be treated as if he or she is stupid, incompetent, incapable. If you treated someone with disrespect, it's not going to be surprising if they treated you the same way as well. Respect is reciprocal. No matter how, uh, how big you are in the society, you can be on top, I can be below. If I'm giving you respect and I'm not getting that respect back, it's going to be so difficult for us to work together. And if I am on top and you are below, 
and you are giving me respect i'm not giving you back the respect it's gonna be so difficult for us to like work together so respect is reciprocal no matter how big you are in the society no matter how big you are in the organization no matter how, how powerful you are everybody deserves respect i deserve respect and you deserve respect so for us to work together for us to be friends for us to be buddies gotta give each other respect so if there's somebody you want like get to know the person and the person is probably not giving you time but maybe you are not respecting them you know what i'm saying try to respect people give people respect and you get it back in return so i think it's one of the main reasons people are lacking that for me most of the time i always treat people with respect no matter how big you are no matter how low you are i gotta give you respect and me all i want in return from you also is my respect if i give you respect if i treated you with respect i expect that from you you know what I mean? There's two ways of respect, you know. Respect isn't given. They say respect is not given. It's earned. Most time you gotta give people respect. You just give them the respect because you gotta give them. But, and again, if it's someone who earned the respect, so people earned it, and so people are given. If you earn the respect, it's okay. But most people don't earn the respect. Most people will just give them respect because you gotta give them respect. I wanna use myself for example. If I give you respect, you didn't give me respect in return, all I receive from you is some slaps. You are not going to hand my respect like that. But if I give you respect and you return it back with respect, you can easily hone my respect. Because it is so easy when I give you respect, you give me respect. It's cool. Everybody's happy. I don't like people to treat me with disrespect. That is the only way you can get me so mad easily is by disrespecting me. Don't disrespect me because I don't disrespect you. I give you respect, I want that from you too. Respect me as I respect you. Respect is reciprocal. It's give and take. If you want to like, try to like get to know people, treat them with respect. Treat people with respect. Treat everybody with respect. They hone it or not, just give them the respect. So that is the number four things to do to find your way around people. Number five, ignore them. If you have tried everything above and the person is still being receptive, the best way might just for you to ignore them. Slide, slide. I gave you respect. I treated you nice. I tried to know your intentions. I've been cool with you all the time. But you are not cool with me. You don't want to be friends with me. So I slide. And you slide, you know. You go this way, I go this way. I slide this way, you slide that way. You know, everybody goes that way, man. So, you know, we cannot be friends with everybody. That is the number five. But in case, if the person plays a critical role in your life, take for example your teacher, your boss, your parent, the government. I can't tell my parent to slide. I can't tell my boss to slide. So, you know, those people, they play crit critical roles in your life. Being friends with them is mandatory. You know what I mean? Otherwise, maybe you, you are not friends with the government. Tomorrow, you're just going to see your name on the, on the street, wanted. Maybe you are no friends with your boss. Tomorrow you get to work, you get fired. Maybe it's your teacher, you are no friends with your teacher. You go to school, your teacher is just gonna be like, boom, boom, F, 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 F. You fail the class. Or maybe your mom, your dad, man, you are no friends with your mom, you are no friends with your dad. <laughs> you know that, that, that can't even work. This is the last tip I'm gonna give you, which is the number six, number six tip in case if the person plays a critical role in your life. Are you ready for the number six tips? Number six, escalate to a higher authority. What do I mean by escalate to a higher authority? When all this fail, like you tried everything, you tried to be nice and everything, and you still don't get the good grace of that person, I think the best thing for you to do is to escalate to a higher authority. Take for instance, you are a student, Okay, you've tried to do everything. You've been cool with the teacher. You've been nice with the teacher. You've uh, treated he or she with respect. You've tried to know their intentions. And, and you have to have a good relationship with that person. The best thing for you to do as a student is to go to the management board, okay? Go to the principal, tell the principal, sir, ma, this is what's going on in our class. My teacher, we are not friends and I'm trying to be friends with her. She doesn't want to be friends with me. You know, tell the principal if it's in the school. If it is a friend, tell other friends, hey man, come, come together, man. I don't know what's going on. This guy isn't talking to me anymore. You know, you can tell other friends. If it is your siblings, 
it is best to go to your parent, tell your parent what is going on. So, ma, this is what is going on. My brother is not talking to me anymore. My sister is not talking to me anymore. We are no friends. Your parent can solve that. If it is your supervisor, you tell the management board, tell the boss, this is what is going on. You know, you've tried all these things I've said earlier. You've tried it with the person and the person is still being receptive. I think by telling your principal, by telling your parent, by telling the CEO, by telling the boss, by telling the government, I think those who are at the top can find solution to it. You know, they can just call a meeting between you guys what is going on and they can settle it. Always remember, this last tip I'm telling you, don't just exercise it anyhow. Don't just uh, all of a sudden, just one day you just you try to be nice to this person and the person is not nice to you and you, you 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 went to the people at the top, you went to the boss, you went to the CEO, like that. You know, they come up like, why did you tell this person about me, you know? Why did you tell my mom about me? Why did you tell the principal about me? So it, some people may get mad, they might get angry easily. Little thing, you run to the high authority, little things you run to the, no, people's gonna hate you for that. So that is the six tips for how to deal with people and how to find your way around people. Try out these tips with the difficult people you face at the workplace, at school, at home, and see how they work for you. For me personally, I really don't do much of these things. For me, normally I do treat people with respect. I'm always calm. But you know, I don't really do all this taking people to lunches and uh, you know, try to know their intentions. I really don't do that. For me, as an employee, as a student, when I was a student, as a child, this is what I do most of the time. I always use these three sentences. One, yes sir, I got it. Consider it all. This is just me admitting and acknowledging everything you said. No argument, forget about it, no argument. Yes sir, I got it, consider it all. Those three sentences, I used to say it a lot. If any of these tips have been helpful for you, I would appreciate it if you drop a comment below. I will go through the comment section, I reply to everybody. I really appreciate it. Also, if you are new here, make sure you click that like, you click that subscribe button. It really helps the channel to grow. I deeply appreciate that. I will definitely see you guys on the next video. I got a video coming up very soon and I'll see you all. Thank you so much and uh, thanks for watching this video. Peace out, man. to know the number three things you need to do to find your way around people and they would number three things the num, number three things you number three things you need to know number three things you need to do to find your way around people is by number three things you need to do to get along with people is to get to know them get to know them get to know them I did some wrong I'm always right I know how to show I know I feel wrong, but I'm always right. I know I should. I know I fight. If I tell you once, she like the way that I walk. She like the way that I clap. She like the way that I walk. She throw back for me. She throw back. She throw back for me. She throw back. My camera, my camera. To the gym, to the gym. Ah, Christian Dio, the youth. It's all good. It's all good, right? It's not a fugazi, but it's time real too. It's not good and it's not fugazi too, but it's something real.